about um, uh, motivated by the recent uh, experiment breakthrough uh, in this uh, twisted uh, transition metal dichotogenized uh, system, uh, in particular, the observation of um, fractional quantum anomalous Hall phases at uh, zero magnetic fields. Um, so uh, we, I, I want to talk about the uh, continuous transition theory uh, out of these uh, quantum Hall phases uh, and uh, uh, what possible uh, phases uh, that are approximate to these quantum Hall phases um, that uh, can uh, can people further explore uh, given the high tunability in these uh, Moray systems. Um, so the work is posted uh, on archive in August, and this is uh, in collaboration with uh, Ya Hui and uh, uh, Sento. Um, so um, when people subject a 2D electron gas uh, under a strong magnetic field um, and um, at certain uh, feeling of when the electron density of uh, the ratio of the electron density versus the magnetic field reaches certain value, uh, people observe a plateau in the uh, Hall response, namely the transverse uh, electric current in response to a uh, applied uh, uh, electric field. Um, and this plateau in the um, Hall resistivity um, is called the uh, quantum Hall uh, phases. And in particular, um, apart from these uh, integer plateaus, when the uh, charge density uh, is a integer multiple of the magnetic field strength, uh, there are also these uh, fractional uh, plateaus say uh, the prominent one, uh, like the one third uh, filling. Um, and this is called the fractional quantum Hall phase. Uh, and is so far the uh, most uh, unambiguously identified uh, fractionalized phase um, in experiments. Um, so with this uh, fractionalized charge excitation. Um, and uh, the recent uh, progress in this uh, 2D material uh, in particular, the Moray systems uh, shines new sheds new light on the um, this uh, quantum Hall and fractionalized phases. Uh, so the um, Moray materials is by taking atomically thin layers uh, with a weak van der Waals interaction uh, between them, um, and this uh, enable people to apply a relative twist among uh, these different layers, uh, and this will give a long wavelength. Uh, modulation pattern of the potential, uh, namely forming a Moray pattern. Um, so uh, starting in 2018, um, the, this field was um, uh, uh, rejuvenated by the observation of a uh, uh, superconducting state, superconducting dome, uh, and correlated insulating state uh, in this uh, twisted bilayer graphene system. Uh, and after that, uh, people have observed a plethora of uh, other quantum uh, phenomena in this Moray system. Um, so the most exciting or, or the particular uh, phases that we want to uh, focus on today is the uh, quantum anomalous Hall states observed in Moray system. Um, so unlike this uh, quantum Hall phase in the 2D electron gas where it's required uh, usually a strong magnetic field, uh, this quantum anomalous Hall state um, is absorbed at uh, zero magnetic field uh, with a spontaneous breaking of uh, time reversal symmetry uh, and also with this quantized uh, RXY, the Hall resistivity and the vanishing longitudinal resistivity. Um, so uh, it's... Uh, observed both in the uh, twisted graphene system, both in bilayer graphene and in ABC trilayer graphene, uh, and uh, also in the uh, semiconductor material, namely this transition metal dichocogenized, uh, which is a family of material. So we have uh, like different uh, chemical compounds here. Um, so um, yeah, both in like these heterostructures. Uh, so the Mori pattern can also be formed by uh, a interfering of uh, different uh, TMD material, um, and also by these homo bilayers, the twisted uh, MOT2, uh, which is a, a system um, uh, so far we've seen the most exciting um, observations. 
Um, so what is the magic of the Mori system? Um, it's um, uh, mainly um, arise due to its uh, high tunability. Um, so here is a schematic uh, picture depicting the dynamics of the low energy electrons in this uh, Mori super lattices. So the electrons are uh, hopping with the kinetic energy T uh, with, and some interaction energy V and U in a uh, lattice with lattice constant, more really lattice constant uh, at the order of uh, 10 nanometers. Um, and um, there are many tuning knobs in this uh, twisted system, uh, like say by uh, electrostatic gating, by uh, tuning the displacement field uh, in between the different layers. Uh, and uh, also maybe by the choice of the materials by twisting angle, et cetera. Uh, and also the uh, low density uh, of low energy uh, electrons um, enable a in-situ tuning of the filling uh, over a rather large range. Um, so we have a large parameter space to explore. Um, and in particular for the uh, TMD materials, um, it's uh, even advantageous uh, in that uh, for the um, for the low energy um, uh, band, uh, small bandwidth, uh, we don't need a magic angle uh, because it's already quadratic uh, band uh, dispersion. Uh, and uh, the Coulomb interaction is also strong compared to the bandwidth. Um, and uh, today uh, we talk about this uh, twisted MOT2 material, uh, which is, uh, uh, so in, in, usually in TMD system, uh, the low energy degree of freedom, um, they are the, the spins of the electrons are locked with the valley, which is uh, at located at different um, momentum points in the brilliant zone, uh, which is called the valley degree of freedom. And uh, this twisted MOT2 material, um, they are, um, uh, we focus on the valley polarized regime um, where uh, effectively we are considering a spinless electron. So the space symmetry uh, is uh, not very large. We only like translations and C3 rotations are preserved. Um, and um, as uh, we mentioned, uh, the one of the tuning knobs, which is the displa displacement field, um, can tune the bandwidth of this uh, low energy Mori band. Um, and uh, so we are interested in uh, fixed uh, filling and uh, uh, consider the bandwidth tuned uh, phase transitions out of these uh, quantum Hall phases. Um, so I haven't uh, really talked about the observations in this uh, twisted MOT2 uh, system. Um, so here is a, a schematic uh, picture of the configuration in this uh, twisted MOT2 system where um, people uh, apply a top gate and bottom gate um, and, uh, and also uh, some um, um, some middle uh, gates uh, in for the purpose of uh, uh, increasing the conductivity, um, and it's uh, 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 the low energy uh, the the Mori super lattice is a honeycomb lattice um, with uh, the different um, uh, sub lattice uh, denotes the different uh, stacking configuration. Uh, is there some? So um, the the signatures for uh, observation of quantum normal law. The, the the first one is uh, spontaneous time reversal breaking, which is observed by the hysteresis. Um, uh, namely, uh, once uh, we apply a small magnetic field, um, the magnetization curve form this uh, hysteresis loop. Uh, indicating a spontaneous uh, valley polarization, like spontaneous uh, ferromagnetism forming uh, at zero magnetic field. Um, and um, in the uh, paper from the Cornell group, uh, they measured the gap uh, from compressibility as a function of the magnetic field and the filling. And they find that um, there are some uh, incompressible region, uh, which is marked by the... Um, by the uh, like uh, dotted line. Um, so uh, if you extract this uh, incompressible uh, region, um, 
as a function of the magnetic field, the filling of um, the derivative with the filling of the magnetic field uh, gives the uh, Hall conductivity, uh, right. which is um, uh, a straightforward uh, relation because uh, the Hall conductivity measures the number of uh, charge nucleated upon insertion of some uh, magnetic flux. Um, and uh, carefully measuring the uh, slope of this uh, um, filling versus magnetic field, uh, this Landau fan diagram, uh, people find that the Hall conductivity for at uh, filling one and filling uh, nearly two thirds um, agrees with the filling. It's, it's also one and uh, uh, point, uh, six. Uh, 0.63, uh, respectively. Uh, so this is the uh, first indication uh, that there might be um, some um, ferromagnetic state uh, which has some non-zero Hall conductivity observed. So the fractional quantum anomalous Hall state, uh, uh, similar to the quantum anomalous Hall state, but with uh, uh, fractional Hall conductivity, um, and it um, might arise in this uh, topological uh, bands uh, present in the low energy uh, like uh, sector of the Moray system uh, with uh, these strong interactions. Um, and the the second signature of the quantum anomalous Hall state uh, is uh, of course the transport, uh, the quantization of the Hall conductivity and uh, um and here the in a paper by uh, from U Washington uh they report a very nice um observation of a quantized um hall conductivity at uh, Moray uh filling uh minus two thirds um like the first uh, curve in the Landau fan that we showed just now um and um they also observe some feature at uh, minus one half, uh, which is also a nearly quantized Hall resistivity and uh, a very small uh, longitudinal resistivity. Uh, and we'll also talk about uh, this state, uh, which is conjectured to be a composite from the liquid. Um, okay, so uh, we've seen this uh, exciting data uh, with the observation of the a uh, fractional quantum anomalous Hall state at zero magnetic field and uh, the uh, ability to tune the phase uh, out of this uh, uh, quantum Hall regime by uh, displacement field uh, and also um, the filling. Um, so theoretically we ask um, what is the what are the possible phases that are approximate to this quantum Hall phase uh, and in particular um, as uh, Maury gave us this uh, unique platform uh, with so many tuning knobs, uh, can we uh, get some phase uh, with the exoticity of this fractional quantum Hall phase, like with topological order or with fractionalized excitation, um, but without the say the Hall response? Um, like, uh, so what 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 are these uh, possible phases, uh, and what is the uh, transition theory uh, of this? Uh, uh, quantum how to other uh, phases. Um, and um, as a teaser, so we find the approximate phases, uh, some of the phases are like Landau from the liquid uh, and some uh, also charge density wave states with charge density wave order that break uh, spatial symmetries. And also uh, some more exotic phase, as I mentioned, with coexisting topological order or other fractionalized excitations. Um, and um, we also we will also discuss uh, if this uh, phase uh, exists and phase transition are realized in experiments. Uh, what are the signatures for the experimentalists to look for? Um, so the general framework um, we 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 need uh, that uh, uh, naturally incorporate both this uh, fractional quantum anomalous Hall phase and uh, some uh, other like. Say the Fermi liquid or the charge density wave states um, is the uh, parton framework, uh, which also enables us to discuss the phase transition between these phases. Um, so the electrons um, are written as uh, a phi, which is a bosonic uh, particle, and uh, f, uh, which uh, by convention we call it spin now. Uh, but here, uh, let me remind you again that we are talking about spinless uh, electrons. 
um, and the physical state uh, upon this rewriting, uh, the physical state uh, has to obey the constraint that the number of electrons on each side uh, is equal to the number of bosons or the number of the spin nons uh, f. Um, and this rewriting introduced a U1 gauge redundancy uh, by a opposite phase rotation on the boson phi and the spin on f. Um, so we account for this uh, gauge structure by introducing a U1 uh, gauge field, uh, small a. Uh, and uh, also the electron uh, are coupled to the physical uh, electromagnetic field, big A. So we assign the charge to the uh, bosonic hole on phi. So the phi couples to big A plus small a and F uh, couples to uh, minus small a. Um, and uh, the general strategy we use to construct the different phases is by putting the spin on F in certain phase, say the uh, fractional quantum Hall phase um, as characterized by the Lagrangian, the second part in the Lagrangian. Um, the uh, this describing the uh, spin now in the phase P uh, with the coupling to uh, minus A. Um, and uh, well, uh, we can tune the different phase that the boson phi will be in, uh, which uh, is described by the first part of the Lagrangian. So a simplest uh, scenario is when the boson phi is in a superfluid, uh, like it has a non-zero expectation value. Um, and this uh, superfluid phase um, will uh, Higgs the gauge field coupled to boson phi. Uh, so namely, the internal gauge field um, is uh, locked with the external uh, big A field. Uh, and now, uh, whatever the phase, the spin down is in, this P phase, uh, the spin down now uh, couples directly to the big A. Uh, or a more direct way to see is that from the parton construction, C equals to phi F. When phi is condensed, uh, it amounts to a C number. And now the electron are uh, identified with the spin now. Um, so the physical electron uh, is also, um, it describes a physical uh, electron electronic phase of the phase P, um, the same as the spin now phase. Um, and on the other hand, uh, when the hold on phi, uh, is in some mod insulating state, or uh, more interestingly, some uh, quantum Hall phases. Uh, the electrons may be in uh, different uh, phases, like P and uh, P prime. So we'll see uh, different uh, examples of what these uh, P and P primes are. Um, so a first, um, uh, like a prominent uh, example, um, is uh, the discussion of a transition from a gapless malt insulator with a spin on Fermi surface to a Fermi liquid um, by Sintel in 2008. Um, and in this case, we put the spin on um, in uh, 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 filling a Fermi C. Uh, so the, and when the boson phi forms a superfluid, um, again, as we mentioned, uh, the small a is locked to big A. So now spin now identified with the physical electron. Uh, and this describes a Fermi liquid uh, system. Um, and uh, on the other hand, uh, if the boson phi is in a mod insulating phase, um, and we can uh, integrate out this uh, physical um, EM field A, uh, which gives some um, trivial like Maxwell-like response. Um, and uh, what's left is uh, the spin now uh, filling this uh, Fermi C uh, still coupled to an internal gauge field, small a. So um, this describes uh, a state where the charge degree of freedom are gapped, uh, as in uh, the boson carrying the charge is in a mild insulating state. However, we have some neutral uh, spin mass uh, coupling with uh, some uh, U1 gauge field. Um, so Throughout uh, the talk, we'll uh, utilize this uh, framework uh, like uh, repeatedly, uh, namely uh, tuning the phase of the uh, phi. And by uh, controlling the phases of phi, uh, uh, we try to describe different electronic phases. Um, and a 
complication in this case is that, as we mentioned, uh, the observation of uh, fractional quantum non tall states in the TMD system happens at fractional failing, right? But at minus two thirds or minus one half. Uh, and uh, the proximate phases, um, they, um, uh, they usually breaks uh, the lattice translation symmetry, right? With charge density wave order. So um, we want to uh, describe the transition in the boson sector from superfluid to mod or to quantum Hall states at this fractional feeling, and also incorporating the uh, lattice uh, symmetry breaking. Um, so to better uh, describe uh, this, uh, uh, satisfy these requirements, um, it's convenient to switch to a dual vertex description for the boson uh, mod transition. Um, so this uh, vertex, uh, the second line uh, uh, is a statement of the uh, particle vertex duality, uh, where on the left, we have a, a wilson fisher theory describing the uh, mod transition uh, with the physical boson uh, phi. Uh, and on the left, uh, we introduce a phi hat variable, which describes the vertex degree of freedom uh, that's seen by the boson phi. Um, and uh, formally, this amounts to uh, turning the physical field, big A, uh, to a small b, like to a gauge field, small b. And uh, uh, again, and further, uh, give a mutual transcendence coupling, like coupling the uh, flux uh, of the small b to big A. Um, so what does it tell us? Uh, so this uh, mutual transcendence coupling, ABB, tell us that the flux of small b carries the physical boson charge. So it's identified with the physical boson. And uh, the fact that the hat phi, the vertex field couples to small b, uh, says nothing but the vertex field phi saw the flux of small b, which is identified as the physical boson as a vertex. So vice versa, the hat phi field uh, is also a vertex seen by the physical boson. Um, and the, the superfluid and mod phases um, are uh, kind of uh, uh, reversed uh, on the two sides of the duality. Uh, like the superfluid of the physical boson corresponds to a gap phase of the uh, vertex variable. Uh, and the mod insulating phase of the physical boson is given by a condensation um, of the vertex field uh, that's uh, destroying the superfluid order. Um, so now we have this uh, dual vertex description. Uh, it seems it's uh, like uh, extra step, uh, more complications, uh, but you will see that uh, uh, this uh, vertex field uh, can uh, naturally incorporate uh, the constraint of fractional filling and also the uh, lattice symmetry breaking. Um, in this uh, in, in our setup. Um, so at fractional filling, uh, for example, let's consider one third. Uh, as we mentioned, the boson are also the bosons are also seen by the vertex as the magnetic flux, the flux of the small b field. Um, so at uh, filling one third, uh, switching to the vertex picture on the right uh, panel, um, the vertex will see a two pi over three, a fractional flux. Uh, throughout per unit cell uh, that is given by the physical, fixed by the physical boson filling. Um, and the, this, uh, 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 this uh, special, uh, this uh, fractional flux seen by the vertex uh, will give uh, the magnetic translation for the vertex variables. Um, so namely, um, at uh, filling Q over P, or in general, uh, or specifically here, like at filling one third, um, the vertex fields um, upon translation, um, they will be um, uh, the translation will accompany a momentum boost. Uh, so the low energy uh, energy minimum uh, will also be um, p fold degenerate, or here is a three fold degenerate uh, as translation will uh, permute the uh, low energy vertex field. Um, so we see that uh, this uh, fractional flux uh, enforce that the vertex field must be uh, at least p-fold degenerate. Um, and so at filling one third, 
uh, we have uh, three uh, vertex minima um, that's uh, um, coupled to the uh, gauge field small b. Uh, so um, the transition theory for the whole on phi now uh, is uh, written as uh, with these three uh, vertex uh, at, uh, low energy modes uh, and also coupled to the uh, gauge field or uh, whatever gauge field that phi is originally coupled to here is uh, small a plus uh, big A. Um, and so, 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 so now uh, let's see how to describe this uh, fractional quantum monomial state at one third, uh, and maybe describe the transition uh, to the approximate say CDW phase. Uh, so we add back the spin on part. Uh, as we mentioned, we put the spin on in uh, phase uh, P. Uh, and here, um, the obvious choice is to put the spin on in the one third uh, laughing state. Uh, uh, albeit it's coupled to the small a field rather than uh, physical, like rather than the big a field. Um, and when phi, uh, the physical, uh, the, the holons are uh, condensed in a superfluid phase, uh, which corresponds to the mod phase, the gap phase of the vertex variable. Uh, and uh, in this case, uh, again, the field, gauge field that's coupled to the uh, boson uh, phi is Higgs, so uh, small a is locked to big A. And now um, the electronic system is also in the fractional quantum normal hall state described by the one third uh, Laughlin state. Uh, on the other hand, uh, when the boson is in a mod insulating state, uh, which in the vertex picture is uh, uh, described by the vertex condensation. Uh, and as we mentioned, the vertex obey this magnetic translation um, so it carries some non-zero uh, translation quantum number and a condensation of the vertex field will break the lattice symmetry. Um, so this uh, uh, naturally predicts uh, a uh, onset of uh, the charge density wave order. Um, so what is the uh, description for the laughing one third state for the signal? Um, so this is uh, uh, like, given by the uh, introducing an extra auxiliary field, small a, uh, a U1 uh, gauge field, uh, and by a uh, uh, Chen Simon's term with, uh, uh, at uh, level three. Um, and um, this, uh, the, the, the flux of the small a uh, is the current, describe the current of the signal F. So we couple to the, uh, the flux uh, of the small of alpha, sorry, uh, of this uh, d alpha to the uh, gauge field small a, um, and, and uh, so 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 now we are equipped with uh, a theory that describes this uh, laughing one third state uh, transition to the charge density wave state uh, controlled by the uh, boson sector, uh, like by this uh, uh, transition from. Uh, superfluid to a mod insulator state that breaks the lattice symmetry. Um, and uh, so uh, experimentally, uh, we didn't observe such state at one, uh, one third, uh, but rather uh, the fractional quantum non anomalous Hall states are observed at minus two thirds. Um, so uh, by a small twist, the this minus two thirds can be thought of as uh, uh, stacking a new equals to minus one integer quantum Hall states and uh, doping from this new equals to minus one uh, dope, uh, dope like one third filling of the electrons. Um, so whatever we have for the electron theory at one third uh, can, um, uh, can be used here. Uh, Albert, uh, keep in mind with the background uh, integer quantum Hall states. Um, so again, uh, we, uh, the transition theory uh, can be described by the three species of the vertex variables um, and the condensation of the vertex. Uh, yeah, so so maybe a useful uh, a useful thing uh, that uh, to clarify is uh, when the uh, vertex field uh, condense, like the boson is in a, a mod uh, insulating state. Um, it uh, the it hits this uh, alpha field that we introduced to describe the one third Laughlin state, uh, 
And so uh, it kills the quantum Hall response. Um, um, yeah, so, so now uh, we have a theory of the quantum ginsburg landau theory describing the transition um, out of a uh, one third, uh, like a, a, a minus two third uh, fractional quantum anomalous Hall state into a charge density wave states. Um, so it's, uh, it's kind of nice that we have a theory incorporating both the traditional like Landau symmetry breaking and the topological order um, like captured by this uh, uh, vortex field phi. Um, and there are also uh, sharp signatures of this uh, critical uh, theory uh, describing the transition. So, um, uh, so first of all, there will be a universal uh, conductivity in transport um, at the critical point, uh, which we'll uh, return to later in detail. Uh, and uh, if we consider the compressibility, uh, the value of the density with uh, chemical potential, um, by uh, power counting, the compressibility vanish, uh, like scales as a linear in temperature. So it vanishes uh, at the uh, critical point uh, as we tune the displacement field D. Um, and the the tunneling uh, density of states measured by uh, like STM uh, is also a uh, sublinear in the in the in the voltage. Uh, and what was uh, another uh, interesting signature is that the CDW order parameter, as we say, is realized at uh, one side of the transition. Uh, is written as the bilinear of the vertex field, um, and this. Uh, CW order parameter uh, is critically fluctuating. So at the critical point, uh, the correlation of the CW uh, order parameter uh, will be um, power law decay. Um, and um, uh, once we include the disorder as, as is uh, inevitable uh, in the experiment systems, uh, the disorder uh, coupled linearly to the CW order parameter, which is the most relevant coupling. Uh, and by power counting, uh, this coupling is relevant uh, if the uh, scaling dimension of the CW order is less than two, um, which is very likely uh, in this uh, uh, boson continuous transition theory. Um, so the um, this means that uh, at uh, near the critical point, uh, the fractional quantum anomalous Hall phase is still stable to the coupling of CDW order. However, at intermediate scale, uh, this uh, disorder will induce some um, CDW uh, order, uh, which at the longest scale will be uh, destroyed. Um, so um, we talk about uh, uh, one construction for the minus two thirds, which is in connection with the one third state uh, with uh, integral quantum Hall background. Um, and uh, there is uh, another uh, uh, alternative uh, construction uh, description of the state, uh, which is putting the spin down F in a minus two thirds directly in a minus two thirds fractional quantum Hall states. So the uh, yeah. K matrix right. introduced uh, is uh, yeah. uh, it's also uh, straightforward. Uh, this uh, diagonal uh, entry one describe a integral quantum Hall states, and this minus three describe on top of that a minus one third states. Uh, so uh, in total, I mean, uh, two dimensional matrix. Let me just turn this thing off here. Yeah. Yes. So, 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 sorry, quick question about the previous slide. Sorry. A quick question about the previous slide. So, so with this order, the do I understand correctly? The charge density wave order is gone in the large D phase. Is it? Is it? Is it right? And um, can can you repeat the question, Max? With this order. So, so, so how does the phase diagram look with this order? Right. So the. Topological order is uh, stable against the disorder. So even with disorder, the fractional quantum Hall response uh, is still robust. Uh, Albert is uh, say uh, fractional quantum Hall phase 
uh, with uh, CDW uh, order at intermediate scale, right? Like the CDW order will be pinned uh, by this uh, disorder um, field. So, so the large D, large D phase just becomes kind of a trivial, uh, in some sense, trivial phase. Uh, can you repeat again? Well, large D phase becomes kind of a trivial, trivial disordered, disordered phase without topological order, or maybe with just integer quantum hole. Is, is, is that correct? Uh, what becomes trivial? The, the large D phase? Large uh, it's, uh, so the large, what is the phase of the large D, like the CDW phase, uh, phase with uh, disorder? It's, yeah. uh, uh, yeah, Sindel said it might be a glass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the CW order is randomly pinned by the disorder, yeah. The disorder will also modify the critical point, uh, right? It will like be some second order phase transition, um, like, um, yeah, given by the disorder. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Can I also ask a question about this? Yeah. So, um, so I noticed uh, on the large D side, you still have this integer quantum power state, which is uh, present in 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 on top of the CDW. Um, but that's not what's observing experiment, I guess. When you go to large D, it becomes a trivial yeah. state. Um, uh -huh. uh, that's and and a, the next a... theory you're gonna present is is a neutral sector with a topological order in it, um, and I'm just wondering if it's possible to get a totally trivial city that will within your theory. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a very good question. Uh, so uh, we we tried several construction but failed. Well, like there is no. Uh, mm -hmm. like uh, within the framework, we couldn't find a, a transition to a trivial CW uh, insulator, mm -hmm. yeah. But as we mentioned, the the product, uh, byproduct of the parton is that, is that we predict a new exotic phase with CDW order coexisting with some topological order. Um, I see, but, but in the exper um, experiment, when you add the dispersion field, the, the second band also come close to the first band. Uh, so your theory, I, I guess, is totally within one, one band, one chain band, right? Is it possible that when you tune the D field, the second band also mix with the first band, so that eventually it could be a trivial CDW? Um, you mean, uh, you mean the the chain band uh, after uh, after band mixing? Um, it the could be total number maybe zero. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, it's an interesting possibility. Um, that. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, I I need to further look into that. Um, yeah, yeah. No problem. Uh, just... Yeah. Um, I see, uh, away from the transition. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so a uh, relevant comment is the, the this can happen uh, eventually, but it uh, may not be uh, like, it may, may be hard to uh, make this transition uh, happen simultaneously. Like for this uh, uh, band mixing uh, happen, Together at uh, like with the transition from uh, quantum hall to the CW state, yeah. Yeah, eventually yeah, okay. it might happen. Yeah, I see. I see. Okay, thanks. Um. Yeah. Thanks for the questions. Uh. So. Uh. We move on to an alternative uh, description. Uh, as we mentioned, it's described by this two-dimensional k-matrix uh, with uh, introducing two extra auxiliary fields, alpha and beta. Um, and uh, again, uh, the tra transition is controlled in the by the 
holds on sector a superfluid to mod transition. Um, and um, when the uh, boson condense, uh, the uh, vertex is scapped. Uh, so again, the small a is locked to big A, and uh, we have a standard description of the minus uh, two thirds fractional quantum half phase. Uh, on the other hand, uh, when the vertex condense, uh, given breaking the lattice symmetry and uh, uh, given uh, uh, rendering the boson in a mod insulating state, uh, in this case, uh, we still have the CDW order, but the uh, rather the, the this uh, uh, alpha beta uh, coupling term with the K matrix needs more careful uh, treatment. So uh, when the boson condense, uh, the small B field coupled to the sorry when the vertex coupled to the the small B field coupled to the vertex is fixed, um, and uh, so so the electric response is still trivial, the standard Maxwell response. Um, however, uh, now uh, if you further integrate out the small a field, right, uh, it uh, sets the um, alpha to minus beta. Uh, so this means that uh, if you uh, equivalent equal uh, this uh, take alpha equals to beta, uh, what we are left with is a U1 level two topological order. So this topological order is neutral, as we mentioned, it doesn't couple to the external uh, big A field. Um, but it has some uh, non-trivial signature in the uh, thermal Hall conductivity. There will be a, a, a quantized thermal Hall conductivity. Um, and uh, it also will be very interesting uh, to search for this uh, topological uh, CDW with a neutral topological order uh, in numerics at uh, minus two thirds. Um, yeah, so as we mentioned, perhaps the most striking signature across the transition uh, is a jump of the conductivity. Um, so for the uh, longitudinal conductivity at both sides of the transition uh, is an insulator. Um, so it's, uh, it vanishes. However, at the critical point, uh, the conductivity will be some uh, universal number given by the critical theory. Uh, and uh, this jump will be broadened uh, into some um, curve uh, with the width uh, scale as some uh, power law of the temperature. Um, and the Hall conductivity uh, also receive a jump from the two thirds uh, to, uh, depending on which, which scenario we, uh, we talk about, uh, either a, uh, with, the, the, with the background integral quantum Hall, the Hall conductivity jump to one, or we say neutral topological order, the second scenario, the Hall conductivity uh, vanishes. Uh, and also at the critical point, there will be some uh, universal number uh, by this uh, denoted by the black dot. Um, yeah, so, so I'm drawing uh, on the right panel, a, a zero temperature uh, uh, diagram. Um, and at finite temperature is uh, uh, conceivable that it will be uh, like broadened. Um, yeah, so uh, we discussed uh, this uh, scenario at uh, two thirds extensively, uh, which is the uh, transition uh, of uh, two gapped phases. Um, and uh, a more exciting scenario uh, is found uh, experimentally at uh, minus one half. Uh, so the quantization of the uh, Hall resistivity uh, at minus one half quantized to two times h over e squared. Uh, is uh, yeah the 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 data um uh is uh, are very clear and uh, beautiful uh and uh, also they see a this uh, hysteresis uh indicating a spontaneous uh time reversal breaking um and uh, the resistivity rather than reaching a plateau uh as in this gap fractional quantum half is uh the resistivity varies linearly as with the um filling so um. This is an indication of a uh, composite forming liquid state. Um, and again, we ask what are the possible approximate phases and the phase transition theory out of the composite forming liquid state. Um, so uh, again, uh, in the 2D electron gas, right, the very uh, pristine uh, setting for observing uh, fractional quantum Hall states, people also observe the uh, exceptional metallic state 
uh, at one half. Um, and uh, this state is successfully described um, by the famous uh, HIR theory, uh, which uh, proposed the use of composite fermion uh, as the appropriate low energy degree of freedom. Uh, and pictorially, composite fermion can be thought of as the physical electrons with uh, uh, flux uh, attached with, uh, uh, in particular, now we consider with two flux quanta attached to the fermions. So this won't change the statistics of the physical electron. Um, however, now the effective magnetic field felt by the composite fermion um, is uh, smeared, um, like it's decreased by this attachment of the uh, vertex. Um, so, uh, so the relation uh, in particular at one half is that the effective magnetic field felt by the composite fermion uh, vanishes. Um, and the composite fermion, a natural state is to feel a Fermi C, uh, namely forming a composite Fermi liquid. Uh, and using the, within the particle framework uh, at zero magnetic field, uh, we are also able to describe this uh, uh, flux attachment procedure. Uh, so this is uh, given by putting the boson phi in a one half laughing state. Uh, so the, the one half laughing state is described by the response that a um, two uh, two flux quanta, namely a uh, flux of four pi, uh, will nucleate a uh, a uh, boson, uh, a unit uh, 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 a, a unit charge of the boson. Um, so uh, the electron operator then can be written as uh, the insertion of uh, two flux quanta, namely this uh, ma uh, square. MA is the uh, monocle event, the insertion of the small a uh, flux uh, times the spin now. So uh, this equation means that now the spin now f uh, can be thought of as differed by the physical electron by uh, two uh, vertex uh, attached to it. Um, so we identify this f as the composite fermion. So what are the proximal phases? Uh, for this composite Fermi liquid. Uh, oh, uh, before we, yeah, before we went into the uh, approximate phases, uh, yeah, there are also uh, numerical evidence for the composite Fermi liquid uh, at uh, minus one half filling. Uh, so uh, there is both uh, DMRG and uh, ED evidence. Uh, maybe the uh, most uh, like uh, prominent signature of composite Fermi liquid is when calculating the uh, occupation number of the electrons in the K space. Um, it's uh, rather than a Fermi liquid with a sharp Fermi C, uh, the composite Fermi liquid will see a uh, even uh, rather a uniform distribution of the uh, occupation number in the reciprocal space. So which is seen both in the DMRG, the, the left panel, and in the ED evidence, like the rightmost, uh, the rightmost figure. Yeah. So um, to, uh, to contemplate the possible approximate phases, again, we uh, uh, returned to uh, this uh, uh, prominent work um, where the describe this uh, transition from spin on from the surface to the Fermi liquid. And uh, as you uh, remember, the spin on from the surface is given by this uh, spin now also filling uh, from C and also coupled to the gauge field. So it's uh, kind of, uh, in some sense, an analog of the composite Fermi liquid, which is also the uh, described by the spin on Fermi C uh, coupled with the uh, gauge field. Um, and a natural, uh, uh, a natural uh, approximate phase may be a uh, Landau Fermi liquid, uh, which is, uh, yeah. Uh, which is described controlled by uh, uh, again by the in the boson sector a transition from the laughing one half state to a uh, superfluid. Uh, so the base phase P is when we put the spin now in the to feel of Fermi C, and when the uh, phi uh, forms a, a superfluid, uh, the natural uh, the most natural choice, and we have the Fermi liquid uh, for the electrons uh, and. Uh, a uh, laughing state described uh, will render the spin now as the composite from the liquid, uh, and we have the composite from the liquid state. Um, and uh, 
So this transition in the boson sector was discussed by uh, Barkashley and McGreevy. Uh, the yeah, so we'll we'll have size two papers of them in twenty twelve. Uh, so the first one is this uh, boson transition uh, paper. And they show that by some other uh, part-time construction that we won't go to uh, go into detail, this transition uh, can be achieved by uh, putting one of the uh, fermionic part-time uh, into uh, a chain band. And the change of chain, chain number from minus one to plus one will give the transition from superfluid to the laughing state. So the critical theory is is described by, uh, the two questions. So the critical theory, uh, is described by two direct fermion, uh, changing sign, uh, resulting in the change of chain number by two, uh, and uh, yeah. The, the, the direct fermion also coupled to some U1 gauge field, so it's a QED with some extra uh, chain segments term describing the background uh, part of uh, chain band. Um, and uh, actually in uh, other accompanying paper by Bark Ashley and McGreevy, uh, they actually map out the phase of the electron from this uh, uh, boson uh, sector. Um, and uh, as a function of the uh, mass, uh, of the these two direct fermion at the critical point M1 and M2. So um, as we mentioned, when the mass change yeah. signs simultaneously, they reach a transition from the laughing state to the uh, superfluid. Um, and the they also mentioned that uh, since uh, in, on general grounds, uh, we don't have a reason to enforce that these two mass will be uh, equivalent, namely M minus equals to zero. So uh, on general grounds, there will also be an intermediate phase, which uh, is tuned by this uh, M minus, uh, namely the two direct fermion have a uh, opposite sign of mass. And uh, the boson is in a mod insulating state. So correspondingly, this is the spin on Fermi surface state um, that we uh, we mentioned. Um, so, um, and here, uh, do we have any reason to expect that there can be a direct transition from the laughing state to the superfluid? Uh, namely, the two Dirac cones will have the same mass, will change uh, the, the, the mass will change sign uh, simultaneously. Well, this is actually true if we examine more closely at the setting. Now we are at uh, filling one half um, and the partons are also at the filling one half. So in particular, the bosons uh, when they are at uh, filling one half, uh, the for the uh, for the partons, um, like the fermionic partons uh, of the of the boson, um, to feel some chain band, right? As we mentioned, uh, we put these uh, uh, partons in chain band to describe the laughing state. For them to feel a complete band uh, at filling one half, um, there is uh, like constraint from the like band theory calculation that uh, the unit cell must be doubled. So that's how we can get a band accommodating uh, half of the uh, total like uh, lattice site, accommodating states of uh, like at one half. Um, so this, uh, uh, this is conveniently realized by uh, putting a pi flux uh, seen by the two partons respectively. So the, by magnetic translation, the unit cell are doubled. Um, and this pi flux uh, will give a, a projective representation, which is a special case for the magnetic translation, uh, like the uh, two elementary translation anti-commute. Um, so it means that the uh, partons will be twofold degenerate. And in particular, the low energy, like the Dirac fermions, will also be twofold degenerate. Uh, they are related by translation. Um, so we show that uh, at one half filling, um, the translation alone uh, enable us to describe a direct transition from the uh, lovely one half state to the superfluid. Uh, and uh, again, the critical theory has several uh, interesting features uh, and uh, the most uh, relevant operator uh, for this critical theory uh, apart from this tuning mass 
is the uh, CDW operator, which is a flavor mass for the uh, direct fermions. Um, and they carry uh, uh, translation quantum numbers uh, due to this uh, magnetic translation. Uh, and they are at this uh, 3M momentum in the Brillouin zone connected by the C3 rotation. So uh, it's an interesting phenomena that we have this critically fluctuating operator, the fermion bilinears uh, at the critical point, uh, but they are not realized in either of the proximate phases, not the C, uh, composite fermion liquid, not the Landau fermion liquid, uh, because this uh, CW auto parameter, they are forbidden by translation. Um, on, uh, yeah, a different perspective is that for the bosons at one half filling, um, we cannot have a trivial uh, mod insulator. Um, so this uh, CDW order parameter that uh, naively will give us a mod insulator must uh, break some uh, lattice symmetries. So this is another perspective why this, uh, um, this uh, flavor mass are forbidden. Um, and uh, there are emergent SO3 symmetry uh, among this uh, CDW auto parameter. Um, and uh, we just mentioned that these SO3 symmetries are preserved given translation alone. Uh, so it means that uh, even if the C3 is uh, broken at the microscopic level, uh, this C3 broken will be irrelevant at the critical point uh, because these SO3s, uh, emergent SO3 symmetry are protected um, by this uh, translation symmetry. Um, and similarly, uh, this critical uh, CW order parameter will have power law correlation, uh, will have power law decay uh, at this uh, characteristic momentum uh, defined by these uh, endpoints. So this is uh, to uh, distinguish with the 2KF uh, singularities associated with the spin down forming surface. Um, and uh, now we are discussing a uh, transition from uh, between two gapless states. So the critical theory requires more careful uh, inspection. Um, now, since that the spin on is also uh, a, a gapless uh, theory, um, so there might be, uh, there are more factors affecting the uh, criticality, the critical theory on the boson side. Um, so uh, the uh, first of all, this uh, uh, coupling to the uh, this uh, gauge field small a introduced by the original C equals to phi f uh, parton construction. Uh, this small a after uh, integrating out uh, this uh, uh, spin now uh, will have a uh, Landau damp damping uh, term, which is this uh, uh, omega absolute value of omega over q, and uh, at the critical point. Uh, omega scale linearly with the uh, momentum Q. Uh, so this effectively serves as a mass for the a Higgs mass for the uh, small a field, uh, and which is uh, uh, which is kind of good news. And now that uh, the a field uh, is kind of uh, effectively has a mass and won't affect the boson criticality part. Um, and another thing that one has to worry about is the coupling between the uh, bo boson sector and the spin on sector. Um, and there are two most relevant coupling. The first one is the energy density coupling, namely uh, the boson like uh, phi square coupled to the particle hole continuum in the uh, spin on uh, of the spin on forming surface. Uh, and by the standard uh, scaling argument, uh, like from this uh, uh, Sento's work, uh, this coupling will be irrelevant if the um, critical exponent uh, of the correlation length new bar uh, is larger than two thirds, uh, which um, yeah, which uh, might be uh, realized uh, in this case uh, from some larger calculation of the um, the QED theory. Um, and another uh, relevant uh, coupling between boson and fermion is the coupling of the CDW order parameter, which is the bilinear of the Dirac fermions. Uh, to the spin now uh, forming surface, uh, but with uh, finite uh, momentum transfer. And uh, integrating out the spin now forming surface gives another uh, uh, term uh, proportional to uh, like to omega. 
Um, and uh, uh, this is uh, irrelevant if the CDW scaling dimension is larger than one. And at this QED theory, uh, at tree level, it's uh, two. So we have good reason to believe that the upon including of gauge fluctuation, the CW uh, scaling dimension will still be larger than one. Um, so there is a good chance that the transition may indeed be second order uh, and uh, described by this conformal field theory of the uh, QED uh, coupled to transcendence term. Um, and uh, so the now the boson phi, uh, we discuss two possibilities. One is the Laughlin state, the other is the um, uh, superfluid state. Um, and another uh, natural possibility that we mentioned at uh, minus two thirds, right, is uh, it enters into this uh, malt insulating state. Um, oh, but with uh, but breaks uh, the lattice translation uh, uh, with the CDW order. Um, so uh, these three different phases of the boson controls the three different phases of the uh, electron. Uh, and this uh, CDW order, again, uh, is coexisting with this uh, neutral uh, spin down from EC. Um, the spin down from EC will be reconstructed uh, by the CDW order, but uh, it will remain gapless near the transition. Um, uh, we'll talk about the, uh, if we have time, we'll talk about the transition from composite formula liquid to CW order. But a most uh, more interesting uh, case I want to make is that um, the uh, if we include a uh, disorder again, uh, the disorder coupling to the CDW order parameter will be uh, relevant. Um, because the scaling dimension of the CW order parameter is uh, smaller than two. Um, and so even weak disorder at the critical point um, will uh, uh, will open up an intermediate phase uh, that is uh, a, a random with the random CW order pinned by this uh, disorder potential. Um, and um, again, um, this CDW order uh, has a diffusive neutral fermions. Um, which uh, can be measured by some um, thermal conductance. Um, and uh, the, the CDW order in the left panel can be thought of as the clean analog of this uh, pinned CDW order, this intermediate phase uh, from this order. Um, so um, yeah, before we discuss this uh, composite formula liquid to CDW transition, um, so, uh, Let's uh, uh, let's finish the discussion uh, of this uh, QED transition. And again, the uh, universal uh, transport signature uh, here is a little bit uh, uh, involved because we have both contribution from the spin now and the boson sector. Uh, and by this uh, alpha locking rule, the partons uh, are like in a series circuit. Uh, uh, when considering electric uh, electrical transport response. Um, so the resistivity is a total addition of the resistivity for individual parton species. Um, and this is uh, actually in contrast with what's originally uh, proposed uh, by uh, in the 2012 paper, uh, where they mentioned that the, uh, to be exact is the polarization tensor that obey uh, this uh, uh, addition, uh, addictive, equation. Um, and uh, there will be a mix between the longitudinal and transverse response. Um, so the resistivity, there is no such simple relation for the resistivity. Um, however, at the long wavelength limit, the Q equal to zero limit, the gauge invariance tell us that there, the longitudinal and the transverse component are decoupled. Um, so the uh, resistivity uh, still obey this uh, simple uh, additive relation. And um, at the uh, across the transition, uh, then we have that the spin now resistivity will evolve continuously. So uh, what uh, the interesting part happens for the at the uh, boson sector of uh, transition from a Laughlin state with this uh, Hall resistivity quantized uh, uh, as two uh, h over e square uh, to zero uh, as transition to the superfluid side. 
Um, so we have a uh, at uh, the longitudinal resistivity evolved continuously, albeit at the critical point, uh, it's uh, a universal number given by the CFT of this uh, QED. Uh, at the zero temperature limit, uh, so if uh, we uh, achieve from some uh, non-zero, like omega to zero first, and then temperature to zero, then there will be some other correction from the zero mass vara frequency mode. Uh, anyhow, it will be a universal number of the order h over e square at the critical point only. And the uh, Hall resistivity uh, will also um, receive a sharp jump from uh, two, uh, close to two to the Fermi liquid phase. Uh, and this jump is exactly quantized to be two uh, as it comes solely from the boson sector, from the Laughlin state to the uh, superfluid uh, state. Uh, and uh, uh, again, at finite temperature, uh, this will be broadened. Um, and uh, with disorder, uh, the, uh, the intermediate CDW phase will have uh, uh, infinite uh, resistivity. Um, right, so, so uh, to be more uh, elaborate, uh, we also show the uh, temperature dependence uh, of this uh, resistivity. Uh, so as we mentioned, uh, at zero temperature, uh, they have uh, like uh, uh, on the two sides of the phase, they have a very small uh, longitudinal res resistivity, but at the critical point, it's a uh, uh, universal uh, constant of the order h over e square. Uh, and uh, there is uh, also similar discussion for the Hall resistivity. Uh, and as you increase the temperature, uh, into the quantum critical fan, uh, the behavior of the resistivity curve uh, will, uh, uh, yeah, uh, they will overlap in, inside the critical fan. Um, yeah, so we briefly mentioned the transition from the composite from the liquid to CDW states. Uh, so it's very similar to the uh, fractional quantum hall to CDW state, again, described by the condensation of the vertex field. And now at the uh, filling one half, we have two degenerate uh, vertex species. Um, and um, again, the, the feature of the CDW state is, uh, although it's uh, electrically insulating with symmetry breaking order, it also has a coexisting uh, mutual diffusive uh, spin down from its surface. Um, and uh, and, and now uh, the uh, at the critical point, uh, the boson and fermion sector, uh, in contrast, likely they will not decouple since now the CDW order parameter is the bilinear of the vertex field phi, uh, which uh, is uh, at tree level already scaling dimension is one. So the coupling of the CDW order to the spin now particle hole continuum is likely relevant. So uh, we we probably won't have a continuous transition uh, for the in this case. Um, and the neutral uh, Fermi spin out Fermi surface uh, can be probed uh, not only from thermal conductivity but from like oscillate quantum oscillation and charge uh, Friedel oscillations. Um, and uh, similarly, we also have this uh, universal jump of the Hall conductivity. Uh, and uh, also the longitudinal resistivity across the transition. Um, yeah, to, so, so in summary, uh, we uh, formulated this uh, continuous uh, phase transition theory and also uh, predict several uh, interesting phases at filling, uh, focus on filling uh, minus two thirds and uh, minus one half. And the theory is also applicable to uh, other like fillings like in a, experiment one also see features at filling uh, minus three fifths. Uh, and uh, we also discuss a transition at uh, filling minus uh, three fourths, transition from uh, composite Fermi liquid to Fermi liquid, which has not been uh, uh, formulated uh, in the previous uh, like uh, literatures um, and which is uh, some uh, four flavors of Dirac fermion coupled to some Chen Simons uh, theory. Um, and there are also uh, like the unique experiment signature, uh, like uh, all at uh, throughout all the transition, the compressibility scale uh, as uh, linear in temperature um, and vanish at zero temperature at the critical point. Oh, yes, I. Um, 
yeah, sorry, I just I skipped the the final point. Yeah. So so the um yeah uh hope I can convince you that uh this work uh kind of established this uh, Mori platform with the many uh tuning knobs as a uh, new uh, exciting uh venue to study this exotic uh phases like fractional quantum hall and uh, uh approximate phases and this beyond level uh beyond Landau transitions. Uh, and this uh, critical theory we formulated resembles those of the deconfined critical point. So uh, it might also be a good um, test bed uh, when the system, uh, like the sample quality improves to uh, detect the signatures uh, in the uh, of the critical point. Um, and uh, um, yeah, apart from the several uh, interesting features of our critical uh, theory that we dis discuss intensively, uh, in the talk, uh, we also predict several new phases uh, with this uh, dark topological order or with uh, diffusive uh, Fermi surface, neutral Fermi surface that can be uh, measured in uh, thermal transport uh, experiments. Um, yeah, uh, that's all. <laughs> Thank you very much uh, for the very interesting talk. Uh, maybe I start with one question. So for the uh, CFL uh, from the liquid uh, to from liquid transition, uh, is it uh, beyond marginal order? Is it possible to have an intermediate phase where you have puddles of uh, combust from the liquid and puddles of from the liquid? And whether uh, it's possible, whether this phase is described by the CFL? Or is it the domain of combust from the liquid and domain of the liquid? Mm -hmm. The first one. Yeah, puddles. Uh, okay, well, first order transition. Yeah, this if there is phase separation. It's first order you will have two phase transitions. So the main phase is curved, but the transition can be second order. Yeah, it can always be first order. Yeah. Any other questions from the Zoom audience? So, so sorry, can I ask? <laughs> um, in your framework, is it possible to drive a transition from a uh, fraction quantum hall to a metal phase? Uh, maybe by tuning some other knobs, but yeah. Is it possible? Um, yeah, so uh, that should be a, yeah, a, very interesting and long-standing issue, right? A transition from a Fermi liquid to a uh, topological order phase uh, mm -hmm. with the sudden death of the Fermi surface and also the uh, incipience of the topological order. Um, yeah, um, we, do, uh, we don't have uh, such a theory, yeah, for now. <laughs> uh, all right, thanks. Um, yeah, so if there's no more uh, questions, let's thank the speaker uh, for your talk again. Thanks.